and Gamora do those on live stream as well. Um, as I was reading about um, the raising of Lazarus the other, Lazarus, the other day, a, a phrase struck me, and it's in verse 4. And it says, when Jesus heard that, he said, this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of, Man, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. And that phrase, the glory of God, struck me um, for the purpose of what this was for. So that, you know, Jesus said that this sickness was not unto death. He did die. Um, he did see corruption, but this was not unto death. This was not going to end in his death, a final death, so to speak. This was not a final death in, in this account. There would be life again because of Jesus, and this was all orchestrated for the glory of God and for the Son of Man, that he might, Son of God, that he might be glorified too. Um, this wasn't done just so there would be earthly help or comfort to his sisters or to Lazarus himself. It was done for a greater purpose, for us to see God and Jesus clearer and to see the purpose of God clearer as well. In this we see his will and his purpose trumps all earthly circumstances or desires that man might have. And I was considering how good answers were given to Christ during this account um, by Martha and by Mary and the others that were there as well. Some of them were that it, you know, but Martha said, but I know that even now, whoever, whatsoever, thou ask, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. So she knows these things about Jesus. She knows who he is and what the resurrection will be. Um, it was also said, yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. So those are some things that are known already and seen. Um, it says, and then Mary fell down and said, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. They knew he had power. They knew he was able to do the things that um, he desired to do and he, and he um, willed to do. And in 30, verse 37, it speaks of those who were with, some of them who were with them, said, Could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind have caused that even this man should not have died? So there was some glory of the Lord that was able to be seen during this time. Some things that his power, his ability, his, um, I was looking for the other word I was looking for, his excellence the honorable representations of God that have been done in this time. These were seen, but then in verse 40 it says again, Jesus said unto her, said I not unto thee that if thou wouldst believe, thou should see the glory of God. So he said this to the disciples first, and he said it again to Mary and Martha, or at least to Martha, um, prior to this time, and then those that were there as well that overheard. This is not something that was going to be done without some light being shed during this time. And after Lazarus was raised, we see how this glory was expressed. In verse 45 it says, Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did believed on him. So this is an, an expression of how the glory was seen during this time. Because of his power and ability to conquer death, many believed on him. They believed what he said of himself. Um, and that was spoken of early in a few verses where he says that, as he's speaking to the Lord, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. So some of these things are being seen just in this, um, in this account. But the raising, of, the raising of Lazarus did bring glory to God. Those who were there that day did see the glory of God. They were able to see his ability to restore, his ability to raise the dead, to take away corruption, and to make a way for life to be given where life wasn't before. Amen. Many believed on Jesus that day. Not all, but many. I like how it didn't say, you know, just some. Many of them did. Amen. Um, there is more glory that is given to God, though, than was just in raising of one man. We see a demonstration of salvation in the raising of Lazarus. Salvation is what brought and so brings glory to God. It is where we can see the glory of God. It's the ultimate way God's glory is seen in the raising of Lazarus. Not just what was done physically, but what was ultimately being shown and seen in this. Jesus was showing forth who he was and who God was in the miracle that he performed. He was showing God's purpose in salvation. We can see him more clearly and give greater praise and honor to him because we know by experience the salvation that he was showing forth in this, um, in this miracle. Amen. Some scriptures that speak of this, it says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunk drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. And another um, passage says, and, ye, and you hath he quickened, 
who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we had our conversation in times past in the lust of their flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, but even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he, he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ, by grace ye are saved, and hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. So Lazarus was an expression in a sense of what we are able to have even fuller. We're able to see in Lazarus the death and then the raising physically, but what we experience as the, as, um, the Apostle Paul has told us is even much greater than what Lazarus experienced. And it was because of this that we're able to see the other more perfectly. We were dead, corruption had set in, but God gave life without any evidence of death being there before. We have experienced the taking away of corruption that was in us because of sin, the life being given where death once raised, the restoration of what was once was lost. This wasn't just for our benefit, even though we were benefited by it greatly. This was for God's glory, for us to know Him and His power, and for Him to be seen as He truly is. Those standing with Mary and Martha saw these things, but Lazarus had a better understanding of, than they did of what had happened, because he'd had it experienced in himself, as we do as well. Um, others can see the working of God in, one ano in another person, but those who have God working in them have a greater sight because they're partakers of what is being done. So as we begin today, I was concerned that we would remember what God and Christ have done to see and look for the glory of God and bring glory to God because of what he has done and what great works he has done, for he is worthy of all praise and honor and glory. And let it be said of us that ye would walk worthy of God who hath called you unto his kingdom and glory, that our God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power, that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you and ye in him, according to the grace of our God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. So I'll go ahead and have a prayer this morning for Brother Bob as he has our Bible class, and we'll begin our continue the morning. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for these times that we have together, and we thank you for the times in which you give to us to see more, more perfectly the things that you would desire for us to see. We pray that you would help us to more perfectly see your glory, to see you, to see the, the representations that you've given to us in this earth, to be able to see how you have worked perfectly to show us your, yourself and your purpose. And we pray that you be with our brother Bob and that you give him strength to speak and the ability to, to say the things that he desires to say, that he may edify and encourage as he desires, and that you would cause for him to be to be encouraged as well by hearing the things and by receiving the things that you've given us to, to share with him as well. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> 